Hello, uh, this is Alan from World Acupuncture responding to Ella's post uh, on the World Acupuncture Forum asking a two-part question basically, the first part of which I've already answered in a video regarding uh, the use of moxa with blood stasis. <clears throat> uh, another question in this post regard, was regarding the use of the points. So, uh, Ella's been, uh, she's listed a, a number of points, I'm going to give a brief description of my interpretation on how these points uh, could be used or can be used in the practice of traditional acupuncture. Uh, obviously the outcome of the treatment will very much relate to the skill of the practitioner, so whilst it's one thing to have a really solid theoretical grounding and important to have um, more important is to have the skill to be able to deliver the theory effectively. So without further ado, the first of the points that uh, Ella has asked me about is uh, uh, how does she choose between the different liver points and what to shunt in which uh, situations. And she uses the example of liver 2 and liver 8. Could I distinguish between the two? Well, uh, very briefly, uh, liver 2 is uh, point that um, I would, would uh, use for uh, acute fever syndromes, in that case I'd probably disperse it. I noticed that uh, Ikeda Sensei, um, through some uh, the students that went to Japan last year, has been uh, using liver 2 in the uh, lung deficiency liver excess conditions in some. So obviously liver 2 can be shunted to uh, course the blood and, and increase and invigorate the blood flow. Um, uh, both liver 2 and liver 8 in the sense of dispersing or shunting are used in conditions of liver excess where there's either too much yankee or heat or fever or in fact that the fever has dried the blood out and it's not coagulated but it's 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 engorged in the liver and not flowing freely. In both those cases, the equivalent is a, it's an excess, but one is more yang qi and the other is more a yin qi excess. So we have liver excess blood stagnation as the yin qi excess, the yang qi excess, we would have a liver excess fever syndrome. So liver eight, is, uh, from that description, is more functional in the uh, dispersion and the shunting of the liver meridian in regards uh, liver excess blood stagnation. I, I would not disperse liver 8 often. I'm much more inclined to uh, shunt liver 8. The aim being, it's to the best of my understanding, is that we conserve and recycle energy wherever possible. Uh, Ella goes on to ask a question then about the related gallbladder meridian, uh, citing the points gallbladder 38, 41, and 34 and <clears throat> how they might be used. Gallbladder 38 is the fire point of the gallbladder meridian. From this perspective, again, uh, I, I see it and have used it, um, I believe, effectively uh, in clinical situation for uh, the fever syndrome. Uh, I've also used it effectively uh, uh, for uh, helping to control the hot flushes in the menopausal syndrome. Um, General fevers being the fire point, the shunting of gallbladder 38 uh, appears to be quite effective. Uh, well, certainly has in the treatments that I've performed using it. Gallbladder 41, my understanding again is uh, uh, this particular point helps regulate the circulation of yang qi um, and is from a TCM background, from my understanding of point function in conjunction with its ability to regulate the move of yang qi. Uh, it can be a very effective point for controlling the movement of Yankee through the head and therefore headaches and to some degree certainly uh, insomnia in those situations where the Yankee is actually not circulating appropriately through the upper jowl and through the body. Uh, gallbladder 34 as uh, I'm sure you know is the uh, uh, influential point I think it is or the major influential point on the ligaments and the tendons so uh, as such, I guess uh, this point would be shunted uh, and the Yankee invigorated at a yin level to tonify the liver to actually provide more of a yin uh, component to the gallbladder meridian. So therefore demanding less of the liver meridian to control it. So uh, we're, 
they're looking to control the the yang key in the gallbladder meridian so that there's a uh, um, less less resources drawn from the liver so therefore it conserves the liver energy and helps in promoting the health of the ligaments and the tendons so the viscosity I guess is uh, one way of looking at it so uh, overall stress or tension uh, tend to go with gallbladder 34 can also be a very good point for for um, for blood stagnation